Hello, this is the Best Mac Tutorials, uh, username Vorkshulk Minecraft, showing you a basic, um, if you've ever been to a Minecraft uh, multiplayer server called SMP, Survival Multiplayer Server, uh, you may have heard of something called Residence. It's a plugin, very nice plugin actually. Um, I've been to, uh, I commonly get asked questions about Residence, and I'm, it's pretty new to me too, I just learned about it a couple days ago, but I figured I might as well share. So um, basically Residence allows you to uh, select a giant kind of, or not so giant, three-dimensional rectangle around an area that you'd like to encompass in protection. Protection from griefers, protection from people stealing stuff, all of that. And so, and it's nice because you don't have to call an admin to do it. The admins don't have to take their time to do it. Or you don't have to be limited in, you know, only being able to protect stuff when admins are online, etc. And so there's two basic ways to select a residence area. One is using an XYZ coordinate, which is kind of like a radius from where you are. Uh, the other that I'm going to show you today is selecting uh, the rectangle, like I was talking about. And that's actually very simple. So right now on the screen you see a picture, and it has a, a little uh, Minecraft little house built in kind of a sandy area. And say I wanted to completely protect that so no one could ever make any modifications to it except for me and admin. So what would I do? Well, now you're looking at a picture. I would envision a cube around it like that, like the one I just made out of glass here for you. And um, I would envision that cube one block away from everything there that I want to protect. Um, that way, if I want to name the residence, say, for example, Vorkshulk's residence, then when people are entering one block before they enter, they get the introduction, uh, welcome to blah, blah, blah. That way I could put a little, like, almost welcome sign kind of there, a little um, step up to the house or something that would be also included in the residence. Um, so I would always be one block out just to be safe, especially if you have the funds in order to do it, because a lot of servers, if not all of them, uh, do charge per block that you protect. Uh, and so basically if you chose those two obsidian blocks that are there that I just made appear, if you chose those two obsidian blocks, you left clicked on one with a wooden axe and then right clicked on the other before clicking anything else with that axe, it would select those two points and would draw that rectangle around it. You won't see the rectangle, it won't be visible to you, but it, it, it'll be selected by the system. So then you type in backslash res, R-E-S, space, create, space, the name that you want to call the residence, and then you press enter. So for example, backslash R-E-S, space, C-R-E-A-T-E, space, V-O-R-K-S-H-O-L-K-H-O-U-S-E, if I wanted it to be Vorkshulk House. Um, basically, if you want, then if you decide later, oh, you know, I don't want that residence, I move my house to somewhere else, you could, of course, do something um, like removing it. That's backslash res, R-E-S, space remove, and then the residence name. So backslash R-E-S, space R-E-M-O-V-E, space V-O-R-K-S-H-O-L-K-H-O-U-S-E to remove that residence that I just created. Um, you can also flag your residence so that other people can have access to it. Um, there's a lot of things you can do with flagging. You can blacklist and all types of stuff. I'm just going to talk about how to add permissions for people. Uh, so to do that, um, and I'm not going to talk about groups, I'm just going to talk about individual players because that's what most people are going to be wanting to know. You type backslash res space p-s-e-t, p-set, player set, space, then the resident's name, space, the player's name, space, the flag, and the flags are move, build, use, uh, PvP, container, ignite, subzone, uh, fire spread, damage, uh, TNT and creeper, explosion, effects, uh, flow, teleport, and monsters. Teleport is TP. Uh, and so that would be where the flag would go. And then uh, true, false, remove, that's pretty self-explanatory. And then you press enter. If you want to add multiple flags to a person, I think you do it in multiple commands. So, you know, res, p, set, residence, name, player, name, move, true, res, p, set, residence, name, player, name, build, true, etc. Um, and that is pretty much it for uh, basic residence learning. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask either in the comments or if you see me online on a Minecraft server. Until next time.